Hello everybody. I hope this finds you well. Haven't been making videos for a while. Been awful busy. And haven't really had a... a good topic in which to line out a lot of the other stuff. has basically found a dead end in some of it. So I'm just going to kind of ramble, let you know I'm still alive, talk about a few things. Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, some people seem to think that I'm some kind of fundamentalist. I'm not a fundamentalist. Uh, having said that, though, I do believe that the King James Version of the Bible is the most accurate uh, English translation and uh, the wisdom of the Bible should not be uh, laid aside so to say. I also find it to be a very good guide in some matters. Uh, the Bible is not a scientific document. However, it oftentimes shows the folly of science in some things and how it uh, expl explains certain things in the beginnings, the creations. I've always been interested in beginnings, how things came to be, you know. How did God put all these things together? How did the earth form and all that stuff? It's always been an interest of mine. Um, geology and such, astronomy have always been interests of mine and uh, there's a lot of text in the Bible about both in history and our histories in the Bible and uh, many archaeologists have used some of this text of this Bible to actually find things that people didn't believe existed until they actually looked for them things like the Hittites and uh, the Bible mentioned them there's something uh, brought my to my attention the other day about uh, water which came first on this planet was this planet first a big molten pile of rocks crammed crashing together big molten pile or was it uh, water here from the beginning was there water already here before all that big you know has part of all that big mess coming together to form this planet well this planet was always water mo more water actually because of the position you know that Goldilocks zone around the Sun perhaps it was uh, one of those places that just happened to be just right to collect water just the right kind of water and what I say the right kind of water there are different kinds of water you know there's the water like you find on Earth and then there's the water you find on comets. Now long ago, well not, long, not so long ago, scientists believed that the water on this planet came from comets. Um, I believe it recently has been shown that cannot be the case because cometary water has heavy hydrogen. Though it's still water, heavy hydrogen is not found in Earth's water. So, uh, 
Perhaps the water was already here from the beginning. And this also kind of reminded me of the Genesis. You see here, first chapter. And God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. The Bible has the atmosphere being formed first, and the verse before that, and water being separated. We've now found there's water all over the solar system. You know, there's lots of little planetoids floating around, covered in ice. Many of the moons of the larger gas planets are covered in ice. There is some water vapor in some of those toxic clouds orbiting those planets. Um, there's even water on Mars. Water seems to be abundant in the universe. In fact, I believe since hydrogen was probably the first element, Oxygen was not far behind. Probably in those first stars that grew and then blew up, and grew and blew up real fast, short lives. And those created the elements which created our stars. But uh, all those other elements were all there in that mix already when these stars were forming. Our planet just happened to be in the right spot to have all that water to form. And with the atmosphere there, it was already liquid mostly. That was a fly bothering me. Been a lot of flies this year. Uh, been a wetter than usual July here. Uh, get off topic here. I told you it's going to ramble about a few things. But you guys feel like uh, some of that might be needing further investigation. Uh, want to talk about it. We might do that. I might schedule a live chat. We can talk about creation or uh, how things came to be. That would be interesting conversation. Uh, No one was there, you see. Uh, distant past, the study of the distant past is a soft science at best. Uh, because no one can test what has been back then. It's like you can't create a new universe find out how the universe was created, you know. That would kind of, might be a mistake to do something like that. So, uh, it can't be recreated in a lab or anything like that. So it's, a, it's all hypothetical, and a lot of it's based on the assumptions that we make about the beginnings uh, of things. Uh, if we just stick to what we do know and can prove, then uh, we're still left with a big, empty, wow, I wonder how that happened thing going on, no matter how brilliant you are. So, I just find those things fascinating to talk about, you know, just like talking about the future. We don't know the future. No one knows the future. Uh, God knows the future. He kind of given hints through his prophets, but uh, interpretation of what the prophet says, you know, can be varied. I notice very widely. Uh, I'm not a date setter, and I have problems with date setters. The end could be a thousand years from now or it could be tomorrow. 
I don't think it has more to do with us. You know, are we slipping off the deep end? Or can we come together with love and try to sort things out in a peaceful and uh, equitable manner? Or do we really need to keep blowing each other up and scaring each other into things? You know, do we need a government to tell us what to do? Or can we govern ourselves with peace? Grace. Yeah. It is what it is. And uh, no good deed goes unpunished. So um, be ready to hurt for others if that's what it takes. A love, a genuine love of grace is the most powerful thing in the universe. No matter what you believe. The grace of love can defeat it. And, uh, I just wanted to let you all know I'm still all right. Say a few words. It's hard everywhere. Try not to lose your cool. Uh, they want us divided and had each other. Kind word turneth away wrath. And uh, those that are persecuted for Christ will live forever. Rejoice. Don't get all upset about it. Be happy. Be gracious and forgiving. And uh, try to be kind to one another, even if you disagree with them. I know I can be a little testy sometimes myself. I'm human after all and some days I, I have bad days too. Forgive me if I get a little testy with you. But then look at your comments. You may have deserved it. Then uh, sometimes I'm a drama queen too. After all I do YouTube videos don't I? Think about that one. And, uh, just be good to one another. And we can get through this together. Peace, love, and understanding. I'll be with you all.